I think that uh, Chairman Nunez has, has to go. Um, I don't think he, there, there's no way that he can actually chair this investigation. I actually don't believe he can remain uh, on the committee because I think that, that he has so tainted um, his persona as it relates to uh, the job of chair of the committee. That, and the really uh, kind of Maxwell smart behavior of the chairman cannot be, um, cannot be squared. I am absolutely convinced it started in the Oval Office. And there's no question in my mind that the president, uh, with the aid of his uh, national security advisor staff, uh, came up with some kind of a, a ruse to try and suggest that there was some validity to uh, the president's statement. You know, as somebody who's worked at the National Security Council before, um, it seemed very odd behavior. Um, the National Security Council staff is perfectly capable of briefing the president without help from the U.S. Congress, uh, and therefore I don't quite understand what he was up to. I don't remember, I mean, I was there for three years, I don't remember a single time that we ever briefed on intelligence, raw intelligence that we were showing a, a member of Congress. That Why? Seems Why is it different? Because, uh, uh, Again, you should ask Congresswoman Spear, but they are briefed by the FBI directly. They're not briefed by the White House. They're briefed by the CIA directly, not by the White House. Uh, and we do have a, you know, they oversee the activities of the executive branch. There should be a separation there. Um, and the other thing I would just add, just again, I don't know the facts. That's why we need these things to be investigated. Uh, but I find it very hard to believe that a senior director at the National Security Council, that's the title I had, would, would do that without the, at least the National Security Advisor, if not the President, giving them permission to do so. That, that, that strikes me as, well, just very odd. I, I'll, I'll keep it diplomatic. If the uh, allegations or suspicions are true, I mean, is, is this treason? High crimes and misdemeanors. Um, conducting yourself in a manner that um, is a violation of the Constitution, is providing personal gain at public expense, those are all elements of uh, treasonous acts. I think we're away from making that kind of a determination.